What's up everybody, it's your boy The Legend coming at you from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here at the link. I'm getting ready to go on the high roller, the world's tallest Ferris wheel, 550 feet tall. You travel in these really cool pods, and mine's gonna be really, really cool because I bought the unlimited happy hour bar pod package, so I'm gonna get a half an hour of open booze, see some incredible views. I am really, really excited. Let's do this thing. So we've got a, uh, a model here in the queuing area. So there's a queue section for the high roller on this really cool model set up. And, uh, I guess this play some sort of pre-ride information on it. Over here you got an artsy mural where you buy your tickets. Let's take a look here, show the prices. $27, you are here before seven. Happy half hour, which is what I'm doing, is 37, I don't know if that's an ad or not. Buy one coupon, I got two of these tickets for like 62, 65 bucks or something like that on Groupon. And that's a, that's a good deal for a half hour of open bar and the world and the world's tallest. Ferris wheel. So this is cool. After you go through the queuing area before you board, there's a, a skyline. So if you're not doing the bar pod like I am, you get your chance to pick up a cocktail before you go on board, and that's really, really cool. You got any specialty cocktails here for 11 bucks. These neat cups. And you know me, and through the internet, everyone, we're kind of souvenir cup guys. And check that out. They're little uh, high roller balls, like the kind of, kind of things you ride in. I think that's really, really cool. They're a fine selection of uh, chill liqueurs there. Anyway, um, if you want the drinks, there's some prices for you. I've got mine on the Ferris wheel, but I mean, that souvenir cup, it's pretty sweet. Not something I need. Oh man, it looks like they have like add-ons for like little shots too. Very cool. So we're in an even larger queuing area. I guess they expected this thing to be really popular. Today we're here at like one in the afternoon, it's not, but they got kind of a, a three, like a 180 degree movie sort of acting. It's, a, I guess, sort of a pre show slash queue entertainment, but uh, that's really, really neat. This is uh, pretty fancy in here. All right, but obviously there's no waiting. I guess they had a pedestal for somebody to stand on. But uh, right now, it's the middle of the day, it's not too crowded. And uh, we're not going to wait in all this line, but this movie's still kind of neat. Really cool. I, I love the pods themselves. You can see them here. This one's coming down now. And um, I know we're used to the Orlando Eye and the pods that they feature, but these are really, really cool. Those are more traditional pods, and this one is a very, very modern, very futuristic, and pretty awesome looking. I love this. The boarding area is uh, outside here. And I love it, man. This is, this is really, really neat. Here we go, a uh, shot of the outside of the pods before I hop on in. But man, this is gonna be a good time. Now, if you're curious, here are the rules on not being an idiot on the bar pod. You must have a valid ID, so you can't gotta be over 21 to drink. Only one drink at a time, including non-alcoholic beverages. You gotta order your own drinks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I like number seven. Please refrain from going behind the bar. That's <laughs> never a good idea. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. So this is the world's tallest Ferris wheel, but also has the world's simplest ride control panel. Not too many buttons there. And a phone. What's up everybody, we're here. We're on board, we're in the bar pod. I'm already three drinks in, and here's the view from this point. I gotta tell you, this thing is awesome. You got these screens here that'll show you information and stuff. Here's gonna show you how high up you are. And then most importantly, check out the bar. We got some beers, but I don't care about that. Look at the liquors. And it's really good liquors. That's what's exciting for me. The liquors are so good. Grand Marnier, Hornitas Jack, Beef Eater, Malibu, Bacardi Sky. It's really, really good quality liquors. It's great. I was expecting not so great liquors. It's wonderful. I'm already on drink three. Let's keep doing this thing. I'll talk to you guys at the top. What's up, guys? We're almost to the top over here. I just want to take this to show you off the view. It is um, pretty, pretty stunning. It's just amazing for the mountains off in the distance to the giant casino and hotels. It's really, really neat. I imagine you probably get a really cool view of the Bellagio fountains when they go off as well. If you're at the right angle. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it's really, really pretty from up here. I'm going to take you and show you the other side too, because, and um, you see how close the airport is to everything here in Las Vegas, and again, a cool view of the pods. I mean, I, this is really, really totally worth the 30 bucks, the view and the drinks. 
I don't golf, but I mean, if you did, the golf course looks pretty badass. And as tall as we are, we're still not as tall as the stratosphere off in the distance. But that's, you know, an adventure for another day. There you go, that's the high roller. I'm gonna keep drinking. Well, the ride is over. It was amazing. We'll talk about it in a minute. But I want to show you the nerd shot of look how far away we are from the support and how gigantic the support is for the world's tallest ferris wheel. I figured you guys would dig that. It's pretty amazing. And just like all rides, you must exit through the gift shop. A uh, high roller is a lot of fun. I'm going to show you some of the merchandise. And you actually got a, a, a large selection of really cool merchandise. You know, if you want the souvenir photo, they got frames, ornaments, snow globes. If you just want the souvenir glass, they've got it. This guy I like, I'm going between this guy here. That's pretty cool. The shot glass, look at the shot glass. Shot glass is cool. Um, they've got one of these. A lot of theme parks have these guys here. And they have one too, the, uh, the cup that kind of moves as you turn around. Lenticular, I believe is the word for that. I'm sorry, I just had seven drinks on a Ferris wheel. Or you could buy a cow with a hat that says Las Vegas on it. Anyway, really cool stuff here. I mean, look at this. Look at those coffee mugs. Look how amazing those coffee mugs are. That's so cool. They've actually got really, really strong merchandise. This, you know, the fancy Starbucks style, style cup. But they have really, really strong merchandise here. Now, personally, because you know me, if you watched the videos before, I'm a sucker for merchandise, so I'm going between this guy, this paperweight here, and move like that, or the smaller red one to put on my desk that moves like that. Also, this is really cool. Let me turn this on. Turning it on, and boom, there it goes. See, it changes color. How cool is that? That's really cool. Anyway, if you want your, your fair share of hats, they're here too. I mean, merchandise is actually really, really strong. They got Nick's colors, that's, that's pretty sweet. You know me, I always wear the Yankee hat. So I, I don't, don't need a new hat, but that was pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna go with the, the brass bronze thing as my souvenir, but I'm not sure yet. And then a fine selection of, you know, sweatshirts and t-shirts and hat t-shirt combo things and lots of good stuff here at the High Roller gift shop. So so Molly's here too and uh, I was about to leave the gift shop before she pointed me out this a teacher like a, a normal drunk you know white trash out of teacher says I'm not drunk I'm just awesome Las Vegas but the cool part is it's got its own bottle opener built into the shirt that's really really neat. Um, fun fact also look they have Molly approved shot glasses. So I keep wanting to leave the gift shop, but I keep finding cool stuff. Like, look, check it out. It's like straight up glow merch like we have at Disney World. It's so cool. So we are all said and done here at the High Roller, the world's tallest observation Ferris wheel at the link. And uh, it was spectacular, man. I, I loved it. Interesting thing about this is that um, the one in Orlando, it kind of, it, it, it'll stop moving at some points to load and unload. This one doesn't, it continually loads. And it's amazing. I mean, uh, for me, like seven bar drinks in a half an hour and a, an incredible view of Las Vegas and the world's tallest Ferris wheel. Monorail going by. I absolutely love this. I would recommend this to everybody coming to Las Vegas, especially if they're an out, uh, you know, a boozer. And even if you're not, the view is just spectacular. Molly, what you think? I thought it was really good. More, better than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be, uh, you know, horrible drink. Well, yeah, that was the thing. Like, then, I was expecting, like, you know, have to hide the rum and have it be like this no-name brand or like Giro Tequila that you would not know. But it was all name brand like, and quality rum. Grand Marnier, holy crap! 
And uh, I absolutely love this. I would recommend this to everybody that comes to Vegas. If you're a fan of beer, check this out. Because I mean, the view is, of the city is spectacular. Their, <laughs> their liquor selection is spectacular. So I highly recommend the High Roller. It's been one of my favorite things since we've been to Vegas. And we've got a couple days left, but I still enjoy it. Molly, any final thoughts for the peoples? Do it. Do it, there we go. It really, really cool on every level. All right. And you get a drink off a drink. Yeah, that's true. I, I've still got that. And I had to film in the gift shop. <laughs> anyway, th thank you guys. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you very much.